Hello guys, how's it going? Whew. Well, as you probably noticed, I'm out today in my new four meter bell tent. It's from the uh, canvas tent shop. .co.uk um, Yeah, they've given this to me to try it out and maybe do a review on it as well Today, I'm just, well, this weekend, I'm going to do two nights I'm uh, going to be trying it out, seeing how things fit and stuff like that um, And I'm going to take it out again soon and do kind of a proper review on it But uh, so far I'm loving it It's very easy to pitch considering the size I mean, you've just seen me one person doing it. You just peg it out, put up the pole, and then guide out around the edges. It's that simple. Um, I do need to tighten up the ground sheet a bit, but uh, I'm in no rush. <laughs> I've put my new Winnowell stove up as well, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So I'll be uh, trying that out as well. I'm um, out with Owen, uh, same location as I came uh, with the Smoky Hut tent. It's so a good testing ground for, for things because we've got permission to use this um, unused farmland here. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good place. It's very muddy. I mean, it was very muddy here last time, but it's carried on raining between then and now. So yeah, it's a shame because it's a, a cream coloured bell tent, but um, it's a good test. Good test of everything. I've got my uh, double inflatable from when I did the um, church camping, champing. If you remember that video a while ago, um, I've put a foil blanket under the sheet because uh, they've got no R value, no thermal value at all. So once the stove goes off later, it'll um, cool down in here a lot. So that'll help keep the cold away. I've got a sleeping bag with me as well as a quilt. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying a lot of stuff out. Uh, got some ovens on the um, stove. What I've had to do is it's uh, quite tall with the oven. I don't know if you can see in that shot the oven at the top there. So I've um, put a, a a bit of um, cordage up to the uh, spark arrester from the flap and back down to kind of pull the canvas out a little bit. Um, what I might try and see if I can get a smaller chimney section there between the um, stove and the oven. But I've got another oven to try as well. Um, lots of bits and bobs, lots of bits and bobs. <laughs> I'll show you what I can. It's a lot to do. Um, I'm more or less set up here. Things to do still. Uh, we've been here a couple of hours now. I mean, the tent took, what, 10 minutes to put up, just over. Just been uh, faffing around. But yeah, so a uh, few things to do. I'm going to get this fired up. Obviously, I'm going to move this bed away from it. This is just for this shot. And... Um, I'm going to leave the doors open because it's this first burn. I've not had uh, time or room to do it at home. So I'll do that and, um, and maybe cook a snack. <laughs> I'm hungry. Got a new table here to try out as well. It uh, unfolds. And these bits lock in like so. Whoa! Once that is done, this should also lock in uh, that way round. There we go, it even has a pocket on it. So that's going to come in handy.
as you can probably see this winter well tent stove is beautiful you got the uh, port on the top these fold out got these lovely ornate little practical as well for heat dispersion handles it's got a grate in there which is good for circulation of air speaking of air there's your vent and the best thing is you've got the um, glass panels so you've got the view of the fire even when it's closed up with the vent open a little bit it's got them both sides as well all the way along it's beautiful and it doesn't add that much more weight this isn't too different to the frontier stove and the ovens up here that's in shot I'll show that in a bit more detail but uh, it's a lovely thing lovely so uh, I've got some fire starters I'm not really bushcrafting this uh, weekend, so there's no point in kind of uh, kind of lying about it. <laughs> I've got uh, some wood, it's Rubinia wood that I used last time I was here. Get it from work, it's a uh, good uh, hard wood. And I've also got some of these to try as well, these kind of compressed blocks for stoves. I thought, why not? So uh, I'm just going to load this up. Put a bit of a base down, make sure the flue's open. This um, is sat on a winter well mat as well, so just in case anything falls out, it doesn't hit the tent. Love these wood wall fire starters. They always work great. Got some kindling to shove in. And I'm fully expecting some kind of manufacturing oils and stuff to be on this. So I've got the, uh, it's right next to the door here and it's wide open. The oven's coming up to temperature now, so I'm just going to prep something for a bit of a snack. Well, it's really warming up in here now, and I've got the uh, door wide open. I've got some uh, puff pastry here. And I thought I'd make um, a couple of sausage rolls, just to keep us going till a bit later, when we eat. I'll just third this off like so. I'll just have to uh, get the skin off of these. They're Cumberlands, the best sausage. There we go. And there'll be two for each length, which I'll probably divide into two sausage rolls. Be like so, and then rolled. These can now just be rolled over. And I just need to uh, get an egg for the egg wash. This I'll uh, save. I've got to tell you, it is hot in here. 
<laughs> I've just grabbed an egg. I'm just going to beat that in my cup. And I'm going to have to try and use a spoon because I don't have a pastry brush. So I just want to get that sealed up. And just try and crimp them. Gonna cut them in half. I'm gonna slice them on top. And I'm just gonna egg wash them and put them on some foil to go in the oven. Right, I've got some makeshift oven trays because it's a tiny little oven, the one on there. I've got two ovens to actually try out this weekend. So I tried out this one first. It was very, very hot, so I've just closed down the stove a bit and opened it up to cool it down. And I'm going to shove these in. Hopefully they won't take too long. Shouldn't do, it's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Owen's come to visit. Hey everyone. He's uh, set up just over next to me there. We're pretty much in the same position as we were last time we um, camped in this spot. But uh, yeah, he's experiencing the warmth. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm really impressed. It's a really lovely looking stove. It's really putting some heat out. I've got none of the vents open, but the, the front door is wide open. And uh, yeah, so I've just put some wood in here, just bringing that oven back up because it's starting to drop a little. But uh, all working out pretty well. I'm looking forward to this evening. <laughs> we'll just give you a little look at where we are, in case you never saw it last time. The weather's certainly better than last time where it was just rain. <laughs> and the sun's just starting to come down over there by Owen's tent. Hard to see, but it's uh, starting to smell like Greg's the Baker's in here. Right, it's just time to get these out. These handles don't get hot at all. If I can get hold of it, there we go. Oh yeah. They are some baked goodies. Well, it's the evening now and the fire's been going a while. It's very toasty in this tent. And Owen has his dinner on the go already, which is in there. A little pizza. It's just about to get out. Ooh, yeah. It's a good looking pizza. Looks brilliant. And I've uh, glamped the place up a bit with these. Christmas lights, kind of a, just trying it out. Um, they're the wrong sort because they're dangly ones, but uh, they're all I had. It's a lot of trial and error in this camp to see how things work out. Right, so I'm gonna have, uh, well I was gonna have a mini roast today using the ovens just to kind of try it out. I've got a Poussin chicken. Uh, I bought two the other day when I made my rock oven, if you saw that video. Um, I bought two in case it went wrong. 
So here's the other one. So it's just a little roast for me after Owen's had his pizzas. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get this out and season it up. And I was gonna have um, some roast potatoes with it, but uh, it didn't quite work out because I forgot the potatoes. But I do have some chips with me. So I'm just gonna oil this a little. There you go, is that good for you? <laughs> and some McDonald's pepper. <laughs> and some salt from an MRE. That's how we roll. Uh, a little more, why not? And I'm just gonna take off the butcher's twine there and into our stove jack oven it goes it's going to slightly touch that I think that shouldn't be too much of an issue but I need to keep it in there because I'm going to do a few chips as well just showing one of the compressed uh, logs for burners it's going really well definitely work the burners better than the wood even though it's nice dry hardwood this stuff certainly is easier. It does have a little bit of soot come out of it though compared to the wood as you can see here on the window but that burns off anyway. I am loving this setup. I think my dinner is done so open the oven I will. I'll take the whole trays off. My Poussin chicken looking pretty nice and hot. Hang on, I just need to let my gloves cool down a second before I take it out. Ooh. And my chips. There's something special about these chips, but I can't remember what. If they're garlic chips or something like that. That oven is baking. In fact, I might keep it open. It's more surface area to heat up the tent. And you can see a red patch. You might not see it on the camera. It's starting to get red at the bottom. This flue goes all the way into the uh, box part and out. So it heats it from all the way around. It's very efficient. It's not massive, this one, but it's very efficient. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I am pretty hungry. I'll put my chips. And I have to be careful here. Are these legs are just going to come off. Yes, they are. I'll have to stick this up its uh, crevice. Oh, are we going to come away from the. Yes, we are. Oh, look at that. We did it without spilling any juices and setting fire to everything. Chicken and chips and ketchup, just to annoy you all. <laughs> I know how much you love it. Hmm. And a brew dog. Might just go in for a drumstick. No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. It's a bit hot still. Ooh. Quite crispy skin. Mm. That'll do nicely. And before anyone says, Owen's had his pizzas, so I don't need to offer him any. Do you want a chip? I'm hungry. <laughs> have a chip. Let's have a chip. Thank you very much. You had ketchup. <laughs> it's not just me. Well, oh, mm. this will do nicely. Very nice. It's perfect, isn't it? That oven is efficient. 
just wanted to show the light that this stove puts out with um, all its uh, windows, its glass pieces. Uh, in real life it's better than it is on the uh, video there. It's well enough light, nice ambient light in here with it just like that. It's going to be a nice uh, going to bed with it like that tonight. I do have a carbon monoxide alarm with me which I'll show tomorrow. I'll do more filming tomorrow. Good morning guys, I've uh, not long woke up, a little while, woke up earlier and I put a fuel log on the uh, fire, got back into bed, didn't look like there was going to be any kind of sunrise to film, so <laughs> it was a cosy night actually, like I put a, a fuel block on the fire uh, just before I went to bed, just to keep it going a little while, I've got me um, carbon monoxide alarm next to me here. Got the same level as my head, which I assume is good, but it was, all last night it was showing zero particles, so we're good in here. Um, but yeah, I just had my quilt. I had kind of half in a sleeping bag, not really, and uh, my uh, sheepskin on top. I think the foil under the um, sheet did a good job as well. Very cosy night. We've uh, Woke up to a lot of wind, or went to bed to the wind picking up, so it's been pretty strong. Where I've not quite um, pegged the ground sheet as tight as it could be, it's occasionally getting under it here and there and just kind of lifting where there's no weight. But yeah, holding up well. The um, flue's moving a little bit with the uh, tent, but uh, nothing that's a problem, I don't think. And I've got. Um, the chimney, the flue itself pegged down with like a guy. I suppose I should probably get up at some point soon, <laughs> have some breakfast. clean this out they come with this tool for scraping out your uh, ash um, put in a metal tub because I did have it going earlier this morning so probably is still some embers in there
just gone around the outside of the tent just tightening everything up because it was pretty savage last night. I feel 20 mile an hour winds or something, it, I don't know, it felt bad. <laughs> you still see some movement now. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's not a particularly nice day. Um, I was going to make a fire out there and um, do breakfast on it but just there's no cover here it's just a, a massive field so um, it wouldn't be very good in this wind <laughs> so I'm gonna do breakfast on the uh, stove again on the winter well which I'm quite happy about to be honest I wanted to use it <laughs> right, I'm gonna cook up breakfast now and um, I'm gonna use the oven for the sausages and the bacon um, just so I don't get too much fat spitting all over the place I'll just do the eggs and the black pudding in the uh, pan so I'll just uh, do myself some because Owen's sorting himself out Sausages for now. Time to serve up, so I've got my sausages and some bacon, black pudding. Ketchup. I suppose I should give some of it a go. Mm. It's hot, and it's good, and it is hot. Well, this is a nice view we've got. Except it is still very windy. I've just tied these back for a minute because everything was going everywhere, but um, it's nice to see the outdoors for a minute. Even if it is gale force winds. <laughs> <laughs> just for those that ask about cleaning uh, cast iron when you're out and about, uh, just giving it a quick wipe around. Well, I used the wooden spatula to get any remaining food off, wiped it with a paper towel uh, and put it back on the stove um, just to kind of dry it out and uh, that's how you kind of season them. So as you can see it's, it's nice and clean. Just kind of set that oil, uh, polymerize the oil if it gets hot enough on there, which it should. At the moment I'm in two minds about staying tonight. Um, it's supposed to rain tonight and was going to leave in the morning but uh, I've got nowhere to dry this tent at home and I don't want to pack it away soaking wet so uh, yeah kind of debating at the moment what to do may stay for some lunch and, and go home and take this out another day for a proper couple of nights which would be a shame because I was looking forward to it well hopefully you can hear me it's um, very windy indeed uh, we're going to pack up and call it on this one because it's it's not pleasant and it's just going to be this windy and wet tomorrow and packing this away in the wet, I don't want to do that. So I've just given you a proper look at it from the outside here. Just so you can see the sort of setup I've got. And if we come around the front here, there's uh, the doorway. 
I'll just show you the inside properly with um, the other camera because it's wide. <laughs> Right, so I'm inside and on the action camera now, so uh, sorry about the sound difference. I'm just going to give you a bit of a pan around, just so you can get a little idea of it. So you can see the size a bit there, you see the stove behind me. That stove is absolutely perfect for this tent. It, it heated it perfectly, it wasn't too hot, um, it wasn't underpowered, it just absolutely perfect, it really was. Um, yeah, the setup's brilliant, the tent and the stove, I'm very happy. And I'm going to get back out very soon because we're calling it on this one, hopefully uh, in the next week. So yes, uh, I'm going to get this packed up, I might not be able to film it because it's so windy, I'll see what I can do. Well I'm all packed up now, it was... Uh difficult <laughs> the wind is just gone mental it's gone mental i'm glad we've packed up now when we could it would have been a lot worse tomorrow in the rain as well especially if this wind got any worse it's just got worse throughout today <laughs> uh yesterday was nice last night was nice though just a bit of a wash out today really which is a shame but i'll get out again soon um thanks owen for having me out again yeah thanks mate been a good one yeah, and fine. uh hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> i'll see you on the next one bye